You probably know that the new Kia Sportage is now the class-leading compact crossover when it comes to gas mileage, returning 43 miles per gallon of combined driving. But did you know that this small SUV also tops the class in rear seat legroom? The cargo space is also the best in the segment. There are also some interesting facts about the company. Initially founded as a bicycle manufacturer, but most of the 80s Kia spent building trucks for the military. A pickup truck called Tasman is rumored to be on the way for the 2025 season, with none other than design maestro Peter Schreier at the helm. His legendary touch graced iconic Volkswagen models like the new Beetle and Audi TT. Now let's go back to the Sportage. What will be new for 2025? The company took a break for the 2024 model year, carrying over the completely redesigned version from the previous season. Now, the upcoming crossover needs a couple of updates to stay in the game. Here is what Kia needs to do to make the 2025 Sportage even better. Improve the performance of the base setup. The hybrid version is stealing the show with an impressive 43 miles per gallon combined. It is also more potent than the base model, reaches the 60 miles per hour mark faster, albeit at a higher cost. The base configuration features a 2.5-liter four-cylinder drivetrain pumping out 187 horsepower, but its acceleration feels like it's stuck in first gear, crawling to 60 miles per hour in nearly 9 seconds. Most automakers offset sluggish performance with better fuel economy, but not this time around. The 2025 Sportage must have a more efficient drivetrain that surpasses its current 28 miles per gallon. Although it can tow up to 2,500 pounds, that's only achievable with aftermarket tweaks. But let's face it, hauling capability isn't exactly what draws enthusiasts to the Sportage. Gizmos are cool, but... The Kia Sportage offers class-leading legroom in the second row, 41.3 inches. The cargo space is also impressive with 39.6 cubic feet behind the second row, and 74 cubic feet with these seats folded. The new model brought a lot of novelties, innovative features, safety options. But the controls are a real pain. On-screen buttons can be distracting, and sometimes the system reacts too slowly. And seriously, no wireless Apple CarPlay. Come on. There's definitely some room for enhancements in 2025, no doubt about it. Off-road model. We are still waiting for Kia to make a significant leap in the off-roading world. While the X-Pro trim adds a cool factor, it falls short of making the Sportage a true competitor it costs extra and consumes more gas. The crossover needs something to go head-to-head -head with the likes of the Subaru Forester Wilderness and Toyota RAV4 TRD. There are also a few other minor things Kia could fix, but not as big as those we mentioned. In the fiercely competitive market, even the smallest nuances can make or break a car's appeal. The Sportage already offers the best fuel economy, a pretty nice features list on the base trim, and extra years of coverage through warranty, which will be enough for many buyers. To be the best, which seems like the ultimate goal for the Korean carmaker, Every aspect must excel at the highest level. Pricing Minor updates will make the new 2025 Sportage even more expensive, edging closer to the $30,000 mark for the base model. It's astonishing how much the automotive landscape has changed in just a decade, you don't have to be too old to remember the type of vehicles you could buy for this money back then. Apart from the entry-level model, all others are priced between $30,000 and $40,000. The top-of-the-line trim is the X-Pro with the Prestige upgrade. Picking the hybrid is a no-brainer, it may cost slightly higher, but the return on investment is swift, likely within the first couple of years of ownership. Another trim level could be available for the hybrid engine in 2025. Over the past two seasons, Kia has achieved record-breaking sales in the compact crossover segment. Yet, 140,000 units is still a considerable distance from the class-leading numbers achieved by the Toyota RAV4 and Honda CR-V. Nevertheless, the Korean company has shown an intention intent to battle for pole position, and 2025 might just be Sportage's breakthrough year. We don't think Kia can overtake the number one spot in sales, but cracking the top three isn't an unrealistic goal.